This is the plaintiff, Erin McGuire. She says she was a very good tenant of the defendant's. And now that she's moved out, he won't return her security and last month's rent. The defendant's withholding her money for ridiculous reasons. He knows it. She knows it. And soon the judge will, too. She's suing for the return of her $3,000. This is the defendant, Jeremy Nasserino. He says the apartment was completely destroyed by the plaintiff and her kids. The security withheld doesn't begin to cover the damages she did to it. And now that she's decided to sue him, she's going to be sorry. Because she owes him money for the repairs her security didn't cover. And he expects to get it out of her today. He's accused of holding on to security for no good reason. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $3,254 for additional repairs. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says she was an excellent tenant, so why no security back? The defendant says the plaintiff destroyed the joint. It's the case of you cratered my crib. Thank you. Erin McGuire. Yes. Uh, you're suing your former landlord, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Nasserino, for $3,000, the November rent, plus a uh, $1,500 security deposit, which they refused to return to you. You say you refuse to return it because you have a counterclaim against her that exceeds the, the security deposit because, according to you, she wrecked the place. That's correct. All right. Now, let's talk to you first. Yes. You give notice that you're moving out. Yes. And you give it within plenty of time. There's no dispute about that, right? Correct. You end up, in fact, paying the month of November, but yes. you leave sometime before the end. When do you leave? No. I actually started moving out in October into November because I work full time, I have- Yeah, it's fine. You wanted to take your time moving out. Yes, and, and I paid November's rent. Okay. Uh, I have the cash check. And now you had left some stuff in there. How much stuff was still in there at the end of November? I had a um, table. I had um, some chairs on the front porch. I had cleaning supplies and some tools. Okay. Had you told them, listen, I'm, I'm out, if you guys want to come in and do anything or no? No. I All did right, not. so one day you go back to the apartment. You're no longer physically living there, Correct. right? Because you're already in the other place. And then, but you go back to the apartment because you have the key and you've paid rent. And what do you find out? I went there and I found a lockbox on the door. And I luckily saw somebody coming out, which happened to be their painter or their person working on their apartment. So I proceeded to ask can, can I go in? I'm the tenant. I need to get stuff and I need to, I'd like to take pictures and make sure it was presentable. So they let me in and I was able to take pictures and get the rest of my stuff out. And this was the 24th of November. Okay. Now, uh, why were you guys in there before the, the period of rent that she'd already paid? Why didn't you wait until December to go in there? Right. So what had happened was uh, my sister, Dina, who manages the property. Oh, it's not Mr. and Mrs. No, it's okay, my sister. Okay, sorry about yeah, that. Let's clear that. That's weird. Um, she received a text message from thrones. Jeff <laughs> stating that um, they had mostly moved out their things. There was just a few items left behind. Who sent you that? Uh, it came from Jeff. Do to you my have that? Unfortunately, I don't have record of that. Jeff, did message. you send a word that you are you Jeff? Yes. OK. Did you send word that we've mostly moved out? There's just a few things left behind. I did. And, and when did you do that? It may have been Mid before the 19th. I think no OK, so. All right. And what was the point of sending that that text? I was just confer I was just talking with her. And the last thing I had told her was to ask my wife. And ask your wife what? She was asking, are you guys all moved out? And I said, I think so. Ask my wife. Do you have the texts in your no, phone? I do not. OK. Do you have the texts? I don't have that text, unfortunately. OK. All right. So you guys go but, in there when you, but, I mean, you're going to have to show a right to go in there. Sure. That they, she gave you authority to go in there and start painting. There was more correspondence. And a lockbox. Well, then prove that you had the right to do that. Right. There was more correspondence along with that. Um, yeah, prove it. That's what I'm saying. D Dina had said to Jeff. Where's Dina? Unfortunately, she couldn't be here today. OK, well, then yeah. it's hearsay, right? Yeah. Because Dina has the, you have the way to show me exactly what he said right. by bringing me evidence from Dina's phone. Did you right. do that? She said she didn't ha have that text recorded. Well, that's unfortunate, because you're the yeah. guy who has to prove that. Because now she's suing right. to get back November rent, too. Because right. if she pays November rent, she doesn't expect you to go in. 
Now, lucky for you, he has agreed that he did yeah. send you a text saying, yeah. I've got, you know, I, we've, sure. we're just about moved out. That's what he says, all right? So even if it's a misunderstanding, once you have a lockbox on there, that's a week that, of rent at a minimum that she should get back because she didn't have access to it at that point. Why would you ever get the whole month of November? I did know when yeah, the lockbox box. Okay. All right, not. so now the, the deposit. You're suing, you have a $1,500 deposit writing, right? Yes. Okay, and um, when did you first get word that he was not gonna return the deposit? I have the text. I had, um, I could show you the text. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, can I see it? Yes. It's November 19th when you say to her, the painters can go in and paint today if you give me back half of the rent. You already put a lockbox on the door. So it wasn't the 20 something that you had the lockbox at 19. Why I, I you already put it. a lockbox on the door. You went into our apartment without our knowledge for 20 minutes the other day. I paid until the 30th of November. To which Dina responds, Jeff told me you were almost completely out minus some cleaning supplies. I didn't think it was an issue. Otherwise I wouldn't have entered. If I may, she asked Jeff, would it be a problem if I go ahead and do yeah, that? Prove that. Jeff, did anybody say to you, did Dina say to you, tell the truth. Did Dina say to you, is it all right if I put a lockbox on the door? No, she did not. Okay, now I'm gonna need you to prove that. Okay. Okay, that's how it works, yeah. right? Okay, so that would be half the rent back for November. Now, the security deposit. Tell me why you weren't returning the security deposit, because sure. according to you, they trashed the place. Tell me about sure. it. Sure, all right, so the first item was- What is this a photo of? Um, right up on that TV? Okay, so that's the refrigerator that they put those large stickers on. That They're have stickers, they're not magnetic? No, they're not sticker. They're not magnetic. They're stickers that have a very strong adhesive on it. And you can't and peel them down. We tried so hard. We tried to use solvents, whatever. We couldn't get them off. So why it, wouldn't salt? Why, why wouldn't Gooby Gone, the greatest product ever invented, be able to get? I mean, I realize it's trouble to have to do that. Right. But are you suggesting to me that you're going to throw out the refrigerator, as opposed to that somebody is going to be forced now, thanks to their negligence, to peel the thing off and use some Gooby Gone and get it off? When we tried to peel them back, it was it was stuck so tight on it that it was starting right, to damage the paint. Right, that's what the solvent the is for. But why are you putting stickers on the refrigerator that somebody and then if, leaving if, them behind for somebody else to have to deal with? Well, I didn't believe that they would damage the property. Well, you must have and because did you take them with you when you left and clean it up? So, do tenants respect the places they rent? I feel like often, in, well, as a prior college student, I'd say back then, not too much. <laughs> Back then, like what, like the 1800s? No. <laughs> A few. Do they respect? I mean, do they respect where they live if they're renting? Not necessarily. As a as a landlord, tenant selection is very important. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, going inside the courtroom. What are these horrible stains on the rug? I don't know what those are. I know that we um, steam cleaned every carpet. Prove that you steam cleaned every carpet. Do you have a receipt? No, we actually we have the steam. We did it ourselves. Steam. We actually own a steam cleaner. OK, well, that's how it was left, because he's able to take a picture of it looking like that. So those stains didn't come out? I, I don't know exactly what. What's that? That was the traffic where we would walk in and out of the Yeah, but everything, road. I mean, but I, I presume you didn't all just stand there and jump up and down. No. 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 Right, and so it's kind of weird, isn't it? It is. It, it, right. uh, I don't remember that stain. Uh, the $95 for apartment cleaning. Let me see. You said you had a video of how you left it? Yes. Yeah. I'm looking at the walls, and the walls have a lot of scuff marks and all kinds. I'm, I'm looking at your evidence to see what he didn't take pictures of and bring to me. But I'm looking at the scuff marks on the steps. The place obviously needs painting. Yes. After we leave, anyway. So according to you, they told you, don't worry, we're going to paint after you leave. And is that accurate? No, not to my knowledge, no. I don't know if the video did it justice, but all the walls were marked up. A lot of the trim and doors were scuffed and damaged. I mean, we had to, we painted the whole apartment from top to bottom. Okay, let me see that, Bill. Go ahead. And lastly, a broken exterior light fixture. Can you tell me about that? Sure. So the light fixture out on the porch, it was a hanging like onion style lamp fixture, kind of like this. So they're kind of, it's not just a run of the mill, run of the mill uh, fixture. I need a picture kind of, of how it's broken because sure, I have I ha eight I have pictures that. from you and I don't have a picture of that. Because I just brought that one with me today. Okay. And this is what was left of that fixture after it got damaged. 
this is what it would cost to replace something similar. And how long has that fixture been out there? I don't know the exact. How do you figure? How do you figure that something's? Oh, I see. Because there was something there beforehand. It's, it's, what did what did what was there beforehand look like? Right. It's missing the glass and the uh, cage that goes around it. And I don't know the exact. What's the story with that? The story with that is the only way to get couches up into the apartment was to go out through the uh, kitchen window, across the roof, and, you and then it? down into the. Uh, and you whacked it. But that's not the light that I whacked. The oh. light that I hit was in the backyard. This is the invoice oh, for paint. Well, what happened to this one? That, I took the glass out of that one and put it in the one that was in the backyard. Well, what do you think was, was gonna <laughs> happen with that now? What am I gonna do with this one? What's he supposed to do with this one? That's why I was talking to Dina about it. And? I was looking for a replacement for it. All right, so you concede that. You, you may not concede the 250, <clears throat> but you concede that that needs to be replaced. Yes. Okay, folks. Let's discuss. You have a lawsuit against him for the $1,500 of the November rent. I find you're entitled to half of it, and I'm going to order them to return $750. You have a lawsuit against them for $1,500 for the security deposit for which they claim for damages, and I find some of those damages to be well-founded. I'm going to allot half of what the paint cost and the labor because I stop. We're done, and I'm ruling. This was a lot of, this was a little more than, than what, you know, we're talking about getting stuff off walls. It, it was a little more. So I'm going to, I'm going to allow them to keep 390 for that. I'm going to allow them to keep the entire amount for the carpet cleaning, the 186 that they, they I'm not going to allow the new refrigerator. I'm going to allow 250 for at most a new refrigerator door and or the amount that it would take to get all those stickers off. Next time, don't leave that kind of stuff for someone else to be somebody else's problem. And I'm going to allow 200 not 250 for the light fixture. When I add all that up, OK, and I take it away from the 1500 that they have in security deposit, it means that they owe you some of the security deposit, which I deem to be $474, OK? So the $474 plus the 750 that I find they owe you for November means that there is a net judgment in favor of the plaintiff in this case in the amount of $1,224. Verdict for the plaintiff. Well, the plaintiffs do prevail. They do get back some money. Uh, Mr. Nocerino, how do you feel about that? You, uh, you aren't getting what you were seeking, more than $3,000. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the judge was fair on some items, but was a little bit more lenient to the tenant on others. Um, you know, we never look to take advantage of our tenants, but we also don't expect our apartments to be uh, in that kind of condition when we take them back over. All righty, well, thank you very much. Okay, right. thank you. You must sign some documents that way, please, right, sir. Okay, dokes, Ms. McGuire, if you'll step out. You were seeking more than three, well, $3,000. You're only getting back a little over 1,200. You okay with the judge's verdict? I am, I am. I'm very happy with what was said and what was accomplished. She had a lot of work to do to figure out. You yes, know? she did. A <laughs> she lot comes of an accountant. That's right. Yes. It's tough being a judge. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. You must sign a few documents. All right, Harvey. You know, Doug, landlords in a really tricky situation because if there's some damage, but it's not the full security, they have to decide exactly how much to keep and how much to give back. And if they keep too much, they could run afoul of the law.